Hello, welcome to the Week in Review. I'm Rob Landers. If you're already a Palm Beach Post subscriber, thank you. If not, here are some of the subscriber-exclusive stories you might have missed this week. The North Palm Beach Village Council has been imagining a safer, more beautified US-1 for six years. Now its vision can become a reality by the end of the decade. Since 2016, the council has intended to repurpose the six-lane highway into a four-lane road. On July 14th, the Village Council approved a Florida Department of Transportation project that will make it happen. Subscribers can get all the details in Liana Norman's story on palmbeachpost.com. Replacing the Boynton Beach Police Department with the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office will cost the city more than $42 million a year. That's according to a proposal submitted by the Sheriff's Office to the City Commission, which voted in April to consider merging the Sheriff's Office with the city police force. The price tag is more than $4 million over the $38 million the city budgeted for police services in 2021-22. Subscribers can learn more about the proposal to merge the two law enforcement entities in George Millen's story on palmbeachpost.com. And speaking of the PBSO, Palm Beach County Sheriff Rick Bradshaw has been distributing millions of dollars in extra compensation to his executive staff and deputies for at least the past three years, department data shows. Every sheriff's employee received a raise in fiscal years 2019, 20, and 21, but they also received extra compensation in each of those years as well in the form of supplemental cost of living adjustments that were initially called bonuses. But did those bonuses violate state law? Subscribers can get all the details in the payment investigation in Mike Diamond's story on palmbeachpost.com. With low inventory driving up rental prices, Palm Beach County Commissioners voted 5-1 to one on July 28th to approve plans for an apartment complex in the Agricultural Reserve. Developer Gabe Bove plans to build 357 market rate apartments and 119 workforce units whose rent will be restricted to levels that most workers in the county can afford. The project also will include a daycare center for 120 children. Subscribers can find out exactly where the apartments are going and why some in the county are against the project in Mike Diamond's story on palmbeachpost.com. And finally, The Press, a retail and office complex that houses the Palm Beach Post, Starbucks, and soon, Joseph's Classic Market, is slated to open this winter. That's the word from Tricera Capital, developer of the Mixed Use Center at 2751 South Dixie Highway in West Palm Beach. Subscribers can read all about the facility in Alexander Klaus' story on palmbeachpost.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information in Palm Beach County. Visit palmbeachpost.com slash subscribe. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.